What's up guys, Shibby here. I'm with Rod Ferguson. We're at the Gears of War 3 launch party. Finally. The energy is awesome. I was just walking around having a good time. Um, first off, tell everybody, what do you do for Epic? Uh, well, for Gears of War 3, I was the executive producer, but since we shipped, uh, I've been promoted to now the director of production for all of Epic. That's pretty nice. So it's... what exactly, what was your biggest part in this game? Uh, I mean, it's, as executive producer, you just sort of oversee it all. It's kind of like you got your fingers in a little bit of everything in terms of just making sure that you're on schedule, you have the right scope, you're making the right game, people are doing the right things. And it's really just more about making sure the team has everything they need to make a great game. Very important man. <laughs> <laughs> if you let my wife know that, that'd be great. <laughs> All right, is she here? I'll let her know. <laughs> All right, well, so what was different? What is the biggest difference from the beta based on uh, what the game is now? Oh, the biggest difference? I mean, we changed up the trenches and thrash ball, had some spawn camping issues we had to fix, and right. so we redesigned those maps. Uh, we got rid of the two ribbons. Uh, completionists got really upset with the it's two ribbons we had where if you killed somebody 25 levels above you and 50 levels above you, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna be with you day one, and I'm gonna be right up there, and I'll never find somebody above me, so I don't want those ribbons, and so we got rid of those. Actually, we added in like seven more. Um, and uh, we did a little bit of tweaking on the back end around some of the weapon values, but nothing significant. I mean, that was the thing is that all the feedback came back of basically that every weapon was overpowered. I mean, mm -hmm. we was like, this rifle, the Nasher is overpowered, the Lancer is overpowered, and one day we were in my office having a meeting and somebody tweeted in me like, oh, the flame grenade's overpowered. I'm like, okay, good. Now all <laughs> weapons in the game are officially overpowered. So yeah. we felt like actually the balance is pretty close. And so we went back and, and went beyond the perceptions and went and looked at the actual data and saw what ranges people were being down and what ranges people were being killed. And so we made some minor adjustments, but nothing too significant. Now, uh, obviously for Major League Gaming, um, the multiplayer is the hugest aspect for us. Right. And me personally, I, I play multiplayer all the time. Right. So, uh, and you guys actually brought on dedicated servers, right? Right. So how, how did you do that? It's the first console system, or first console game to have this, right? I don't know if it's the first, but I mean, it's a big step for us. I mean, people haven't been doing it for a while. It's a huge, people don't, like the, the consumer doesn't tend to get like how expensive this is in terms of having data centers with hardware around the world with and paying for bandwidth and the fact that you have to be ready for the maximum amount like tonight I'm hoping there's going to be right. hundreds of thousands of people playing but then over a couple of months things will settle down and so you'll have all this extra hardware lying around and you got to figure out what to do with that so there's just a lot involved and I think a lot of people are just not willing to take that that risk to, to, to do all that work but for us it was something we went through the the hiccup of Gears 2 when we launched and and we, we've learned so much since then as we saw on the beta and we just felt like this was the right thing for the game we want to have that fair uh, playing field there's no host advantage get rid of all that that sort of perception that there's all right. these like issues get rid of leg switchers because the consumer don't they don't recognize a leg switcher as a leg switcher. They they think it's a bad game, and so right. would, so we have to get them out of the pool. And by, and dedicated servers allow us to do that. Well, uh, I, I'm very excited about that. It's going to be pretty awesome. Okay. Um, you uh, also mentioned the downloadable content that you guys are working on. Right. Uh, what is that? Tell me about the the first round of downloadable content that's going to come out. Well, I can't speak to. So November is when the first package comes. So we okay. have season pass. Season pass is basically a way to pre-order the, the next four big chunks of DLC. That's going to happen in the next nine plus months. Okay. And uh, What's interesting is it's going to be a little bit of everything. There's going to be there's DLC that's horde and beast related. There's there's new campaign content that isn't part of the current campaign. It's not something that we cut out or anything like that. It's a completely different story. Um, and then we also have the usual multiplayer maps. We've got character skins. We've got weapon skins. All that kind of stuff. That'll be part of the season pass as well. So the first one drops in uh, November. Sorry. It's tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. So out of the entire game, what is your favorite feature? Favorite level? Favorite character? Favorite whatever? Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know that all. Has it all, it, there's a lot of stuff I really like about the game. You know, having four-player co-op in the campaign, having arcade mode so you can go and play with your friends and revisit that content over and over. The horde with the tower defense elements now with fortifications. And like, I'm a I'm a co-op player. I've played some really crappy games just because they have co-op in them. Mm -hmm. and, and so to me, it's like Gears is about co-op. And so getting new co-op features like beast mode, being able to play as the monster attacking the humans in five-player co-op, all that stuff really excites me. So, but the thing I'm going to end up, I mean. Uh, I'm going to definitely spend a lot of time in the campaign, but the Horde is kind of where my heart is at. Same here. I'm a Horde <laughs> man. I'm definitely going to be tearing I was tearing it up earlier, like I was saying. Awesome. But uh, So, I don't know. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, one last thing before we go. Uh, one message you want to say to everybody that's picking up the game tonight. What do you, What's some advice you have for them? Oh, advice? Uh, well, I mean, I just want everybody to pick it up. I mean, I want people to understand that Gears of War 3 is the 
the best one to get into. If you haven't played Gears 1, you haven't played Gears 2, you've heard about them but haven't tried them, Gears 3 has been tailored and designed to support the hardcore but also allow for new ways to get in for people. So, so casual and normal are easier than they've ever been. Casual actually has aim assist. There's a, a multiplayer area where you can go with, if you've never played Gears before, you can go and you'll play only against other people who've never played before. So you can learn how to play multiplayer before you go take on guys like this. So, you know, there's, uh, there's, a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of features in there to help new players get into it. So that's really what I want people to, don't be intimidated. Come on and join us in Gears 3. You'll see me on the uh, hardcore and insane. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely. Well, thank you so much. No, I'm glad you're here. I'm, uh, I want you to go have more fun. I will. All right, guys.